Welcome back to Baskin Belief Systems. I'm Tracy Baskin, Doctor of Beliefs. Today we're going to be talking about a very important subject, um, and it's about why therapy doesn't work for most people. And this is actually a very good topic uh, because a lot of people, what happens is that they go into therapy and they have a, a major problem, depression. Um, it could be any issue at all, parenting, uh, sex issues, whatever it is, something that is bothering them to the point to where they are seeking help. And so what happens is that we have you know, the, a, a person that is in distress in some form or fashion, and then they come in and they want to be immediately um, relieved, right? And what happens is that the expectation, right? So I drew something here for you that I tell a lot of my clients, and so hopefully you can see that, right? And so here you come in and you start, you know, therapy, you walk in the door, you have a problem. And what happens is that people want to catapult, right? They want to catapult to no problem whatsoever. They want it to be done ASAP, no problem, right? So hopefully you can kind of see that, that image. I'm a visual person, so a lot of people, this kind of helps them, right? So what happens is when we want to catapult, then, you know, we're, we're skipping a lot of steps here. Okay, what people don't realize is that they just need to take baby steps. So, you know, when we, people come in, when therapists, you know, evaluate people when they come in, we actually call this in the industry where you are on the uh, change uh, spectrum or stages of change. So there's uh, several stages of change and usually the first one is contemplation. Uh, some of them, uh, the stages are, you know, you are kind of thinking maybe, okay, yeah, I do have a problem. Your wife or your partner or someone tells you to come in. That's, a, a, you know, another kind of stage of change. So we kind of try to evaluate that and where you are on that spectrum. Well, I say scratch that, right? So if you're able to kind of see this, how you're trying to catapult, so then it's it becomes a lot uh, better for you to kind of visualize and actually be satisfied with some expectations so just the perception needs to shift just a little bit right i tell this to my clients all the time it really works for them uh what happens is that they uh, i tell them okay you're you're trying to take a giant leap and you just can't do that because your brain is not um able to do that all it wants to do is is rid you of pain so um that's what our brains are known for right is we need to get rid of the pain so that it'll do anything that is possible. It doesn't matter. It has no discrimination to make the pain go away. So when you go into therapy and you're like, I'm depressed, I don't want to be depressed anymore. Um, or I have anxiety. I don't want, I want it to go away. So Dr. Murray Bowen, which you'll hear me talk about him a lot. So he's a systems theorist and his theory uh, along with a lot of other system theorists is uh but specifically for dr bowen he said you just need to take you just need to make a small change it doesn't even matter what that change is so we take baby steps let me give you an example so i had a client who you know wanted to you know change her whole life and she had you know she lived in another state uh she wanted to you know relocate uh, with her children, she didn't think that that was going to be possible because of uh, the uh, biological father. Uh, for years, for years and years, she actually said, you know, there's no way. Um, she wouldn't even approach him because she was so afraid of rejection. Within two weeks um, of her, uh, you know, me helping her, you know, walk through these baby steps. And it basically, you just have to do a little bit at a time because your brain will not jump, right? Because there's conflict, uh, sorry, excuse me, conflicting beliefs going on. So it's just like when we decide that we're going to, you know, go on a diet program and lose weight and we say, okay, well, I want to lose 20 pounds and, but you're on day three and you're, it's just a struggle. Um, and so the same thing, right? So that's why a lot of, uh, dietitians or whatever will say, okay, so on a, a weekly basis, 
uh, you know, lose a hundred or a hundred. <laughs> uh, that would be great, wouldn't it? Uh, lose, you know, uh, two to three pounds a week, right? Start weighing yourself, you know, weekly or measuring blah, blah, blah. So those are kind of baby steps, but you know, back to this catapult. So the reason why a lot of people fail um, to see therapy or it doesn't work for them is because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to go from zero to a hundred, uh, and they just, you just can't do that. Um, the brain doesn't allow us to do that. It doesn't allow us to, uh, catapult in that manner. So you have to kind of, you know, it's just like a relationship. You kind of, kind of get to know it. You have to say, okay, you know, what I usually have my clients do, the very, very first thing is that I say, okay, I want you to go home and you know, from now until next week, I want you to write down three, three times a day, you know, just what your emotion is when you wake up, when you have lunch or whatever, and then when you go to bed. And they're very surprised just by doing something like that, um, making that little change, it's just, it, it shifts them tremendously. And they feel better. That's the purpose, right? Is to feel better immediately. However, if you're trying to feel better immediately, but here's your problem or what your perceived problem is, and then you're trying to catapult to the end, right? It's all about the journey, I guess you could say. And a lot of people don't really like to hear that, but if they, you know, when they come into my office and um, I basically, te you know, teach them this kind of strategy, it's amazing. I mean, if you have someone completely change their life in two weeks, uh, just by, you know, walking through these baby steps, it's amazing. Another example, which, uh, has stuck with me for years and years and years. There was a professor, um, in my master's program and I'll never forget her. And she actually, um, you know, told me what she did, uh, which was amazing. So she wanted to have a different, an interaction that was different with her family. And so she didn't go to her family and say, Hey, listen, I want things to be different. It wasn't direct. So what she did, she, you know, she picked one small thing and she would always go to visit her parents, uh, and come to the front door. And so what she did is that she started going to the back door and that's it. She just started going to the back door and it started triggering not only for her and her brain, but also her family's brain. So it's just a small step there that, you know, it was a, a segue. And so it's kind of like as a, a domino effect. So you could pick really anything that you want and just change it. It doesn't even have to be, you know, directly in relation to whatever it is that you're wanting to do. But this is kind of what happens um, and why therapy is uh, unsuccessful for a lot of people is because they try to catapult. And, you know, unless you are, you know, some kind of Olympian that can get on a pole and jump really far, uh, therapy, um, it just, it, it just won't work that way, unfortunately. So hopefully this has helped you in some form or fashion, or at least you got a laugh out of it. Um, but if you did find this helpful, please comment below. Um, if you have any kind of questions or you want to uh, reach out, of course, you, I'm always uh, here and available for you. My information is below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And remember that one wonderful thing you should be telling yourself every day, especially in the midst of any kind of um, anxiety, is I'm not looking for right or wrong. I'm just looking for me. Y'all have a good day. Bye.